ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lion's Den Promotions Fight Night Double Header. Only our second event, and we are already going pay per view. Um, very exciting for this one. <clears throat> so, to go over our fight card, um, some of these out did change. Uh, Josh, you're not screen sharing. Um, but, um, yeah, some of these bouts were changed. Like, uh, like Alva versus Ohara, um, it is now Jack Charles versus Ben Bennett Mez is going to be our first bout. And then we have Joey Pera versus Lucas Nurse. Dash is Clay versus Dave Burt. Chris Pato versus Andy Martinez, too. And then William Cutting versus William Davidson. And they are. Yeah. yeah. You need to get your first bout in just uh, a little bit. Yeah, as they're getting ready in their locker rooms. Yep, yep. So yeah, like like Flores said, second event, uh, pay per view. You know, let, we'll see how this pay per view does. You know, hopefully we get more in the future. Yep. And shout out to uh, shout out to uh, both uh, Next Gen Promotions and Jack Charles and. Ben Bennett and the next gen, sending in Dave Burt and Ben Bennett to the next gen. Indeed. Yep. Yep, they're in our locker room. And uh, the first bout will be eight rounds. Uh, the first bout will be eight rounds.
I apologize this takes a little bit. What if I play like, uh, like, just low music so it doesn't get too boring as, um, uh, as I'm trying to figure this out. Sorry about that. Um, we do have some bad news. Um, um, Jack Crow versus Ben Bennett will not be happening as due to some technical issues. But we will go ahead and move on to our next bout. Just a second. The show must go on. Alright, I have it up here. First of all, let's look at the stat sheet for this one. Um, here it is. <coughs> so, here's the stats. Joey Pear versus Lucas Smith. Record, Para is 0-1, Juan Mears is 0-2. Para is coming into the belt as a minus 250 underdog. Mears some plus 400 favorite. And both have a zero fight winning streak. Oh, with all that said, let's just hop right into our first bout of the evening. Joey Para versus Lucas Smith.
Here we go. First bout of the night, Joey Parra. Obviously coming off of a loss to William Cutting, who will be fighting in the main event later on tonight against Rowley Davidson. And what should be a very, very fun bout. Um, yeah, you know, Lucas, Lucas Nance, uh, 0-2, looking to make his first win in SFC. Wait, it should be. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. You got to skip a little bit ahead. My fault. Yeah, but this should be a very, very good bout. There goes uh, Nance, or Baba Yaga, as he calls himself. And Joey Parra. Good jab. Good jab. Both try to seek out their first win. Parra is fighting in his hometown of Atlanta. So that gives him a little bit of momentum. It for sure does give you a little bit of momentum when you fight in your hometown. And that's coming off of two hours to a night off in Hume, while, as you said, Paul is coming off of L to William Cutting. <coughs> well, I've seen Nitz likes to use his jab, as you've seen. Indeed. Good uppercut got in there by Para. Oh, that was a beautiful hook there by Nance. Both these guys are trading early. They're trading early. Nice combination there from Paulo. Good one too there by Paulo. Ooh, nice uppercut. Combination there from um, Lucas Nance. Good jab there by uh, Nance. That's the end of round one. Pretty good round for both men as they did have success. You yeah, have really good round for both, man. Straight there from Nance. Jabs from Nance. Nice uppercut there from Joey Para. Okay. Good body work there by Nance, I see. Both exchange. Oh, oh, oh the step back straight Bronx. I mean, he goes down. Beautiful combination by Joey Para. And he gets the knockdown. Beautiful work. And William and Mara. And, um... Lucas Nance is down. Let's see how Nance will recover. Our uh, Thumbin and uppercuts getting some counters here. Good one, too, there by Para. Big round for Joey Para. Yeah, he's really going for it here. Beautiful one two from Kara. Good 
Oh, beautiful combination there by Aparo. Good hooks there by Nat. And that is the end of round number two. And the start of round three. No, oh, nice counter there by Joey Parra. Oh, beautiful uppercut by Parra. Nice hook on the inside there by uh, cutting. Nice body work. Oh, nice combination there from Ned's there hook. Upper cut from Paro. Oh, nice straight. Trying to be the address. Oh, good one too there, my car. Nice uppercut. Oh, good uppercut. Oh, nice combination there from Para. Yeah, Para looks much improved. I see that he switched over on this one. Yeah. Let's see in the round. Let's round number three. Oh, what do you make of this fight so far? I I think you know I think this is uh I think this I think this is a great you know great uh, matchup on paper. But now it just seems that Paro is, is the one that's making the, the adjustments and winning the fight. Um, but, but yeah, you know, it is an overall, a overall, um, a overall pretty even fight. But uh, both men had their, their opportunities. And, uh, yeah, right now very even as uh, Nance trying to find his jab. Yes, and they did have the fight 29 27, I believe, for um, Joey Para, the unofficial. I saw that correctly. And Joey Para has scored a knockdown. Here's a young momentum. <laughs> nice jobs from Lucas Smith. Good job. Trying to keep that jab in his face. Trying to block Para down. And yeah, Para, that Nance doesn't land anything, and Nance, he's not landing anything other than that jab. Yeah. Great defense here by Para on this on display. And this type of cut there from Para. Let's see in the round four. We're gonna go to the fifth.
race up a cup and buy it. Four nice straight. Up the cuts. Well, we're just trying to, we, bro, uh, Lucas is trying to take to that body. Why do I keep saying William? I really don't know. I'm just, um. Yeah, he kind of does look like William, to be honest. Nice body work from Paro. That man has done some good work in this round, also. Yeah. Hitting that, hitting to that body, trying to keep that jab in Paro's face. But I just feel like Paro. I feel like Paro is just doing a little bit more. And while I was sat down making this fight, I think this is a great fight on paper as well. It's both men trying to keep their first W. You know, it's a very good chess match 50 50 fight. Nance with that 3% stamina recovery at 80%. Needs to keep that stamina up. Yeah, he did waste a lot of stamina. Yeah. Nice work from Nance right there. And the body work from Para. Nice uppercut from Nance. Oh, good straight there by Baba. Baba loves using the hooks, and they are landing for him here. Oh, oh good counter uppercut there from Nance. I do see Nance um, having a bit more success here. Yep. <laughs> oh, another, another um, counter hook. And a body counter from Para. Ooh. Good Lucas. body work here by, by Para. Beautiful work to the body by Para with the hooks. That's the end of round seven I, or six. I'm not sure what round it is. We will see. Round seven. Round seven we're going into. Yep. So that was the end of round number six. Now we are in round number seven one, of two, our three, first bout. Three, two, yep, six, of eight, eight rounds. Para came in as the betting favorite. Some people have some serious money on Para or Para. Yeah. Yeah, we saw yeah, a lot of people bet a lot of money on Para. We'll see if he'll win that money or if Lucas Nance can pull off the upset. Oh, 
both extremes. Oh, we both exchanging in the pocket here. Very entertaining match. Very game friendly fight as well. Yeah, very fan friendly, about very good, about to kick things off. Yep. Par a little bit out of range with some of these recent shots. Good straight there by Par. Par working with the hooks. Beautiful hooks to the body by Par. A nice straight over top and another one and it knocks, knocks uh, Nance down for the second time in this bout. Nance goes down. There we go. Nance gets back up. Para looking on to go on the offense of beautiful straight. Hooks are getting through for him. Everything's getting through. Everything's working for Para. Oh, what's up, Jaden? Good. Okay. Right, cool. Everything nice. Trying to get Nance out of there. Yeah, man, he's trying to get Nance out of there. Oh, good counter from her. It's a real dogfight now. Beautiful uppercut by Nance. Nance working the body. Nance gets in with a straight. Power out of range with the one, two. Beautiful uppercut by Nance. Nance working the body. Nance gets in with a straight. Power out of range with the one, two. Beautiful uppercut by Nance. By both men, in fact. This is a very eventful minute. You know, I noticed this picture right here. I was in here today. I was going to see if you had any deodorant. I, I, I don't even know if you keep your deodorant. But uh, I seen this picture. Point this picture in a frame. Uh, your Nana gave this to you? Yeah. When did she give it to you? Really? I think I got that same picture downstairs. Yeah, I started thinking, I was like, well, what the crap? I was like, why is this picture out of the frame? I got the same picture downstairs. Okay. Alright, well, let's get back to it, man. Alright. 
this one goes the distance, you will get the scorecard game. Yep, yep, scorecard's coming up soon. Alright. I'm just like I'm just waiting in that one. So, after eight rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Um, judge judges one in, judge one scores the contest 76-75. Judge two scores the contest 77-73. And judge three scores the contest 76-74. All in favor of your winner. By unanimous decision, Joey Pardo. Dave Burke did tell me that Clay was not answering, and if that is the case, then uh, Burke will not be fighting today. Or you can try to um, find a quick replacement appointment. Now, Burke told me that, like, he doesn't, he doesn't want to take a chance. Uh, he told me that he's prepared for one opponent, I mean, one opponent. So if if that does not happen, um, so yeah, if if uh, Dash's play is not here, then um, then um, we will move on to our co-main event. Clay is not answering, so we will move on to the co-main event. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's quite unfortunate. Hopefully, we can try to get that out on um, rescheduled or find Dave Burke another fight in the future. Yep. Yeah. So we apologize for that, but we will move on to um our next bout.
I end the second stat sheet real quick for this one. <laughs> Chris Pato versus Andy Martinez. Pato 1 0. <clears throat> wow. Martinez 0 1. Chris Pato is coming in with a big favor. This is also a rematch. Last time out, Pato won a split decision. But they will be winning that again tonight. Anyways, let's just get. Oh, and Saints have a one fight winning streak while Martinez zero. Anyways, let's just hop right into it. I've been very confident for this one. I talked to Martinez yesterday and he said he's very I uh, talked to Andy yesterday before the weigh-ins. He said he was very confident. Had a good training camp ready to get this win. This Here we go. Kush Patel, Andy Martinez. 10 rounds, our co-main event. Here we go. Yeah, both. Both um, making adjustments from their first meeting back at LDP Fight Night 1. When they headlined. Kush Patel rocking the lion's den on his trunks. Yeah. Kush Patel out here. Both men. Both men with the textbook block. This is an open stance bout uh, with uh, Martinez being southpaw. And uh, Patel has been working with uh, Detroit Boxing in preparation for this bout. So we will see a new in improved Kush Patel most likely. And he's also braided up his hair. Yeah. Some changes from the last bout that I see already. I see that Pato is being more aggressive. Oh yeah, Kush Patel staying in his face, not letting him, you know, breathe too much. Yeah. My Martinez targeting the body. <laughs> Oh, nice straight. Punch. Hey, everybody. Yeah. I just kind of punched him too. It's the end of round one. Good round there by uh, Patel. It was a very close round overall for me, but I think you know, that sweet counter punch um, it definitely added to um, the round. Here we go, round number two. I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. mean counter punch there by Kush Patel to kick off the round. Martinez using a lot of jabs. Yeah, Martinez. Uh, I will tell you one thing. You know, when he when Patel worked with the Wolf Pack. We, uh, you know, we, we just had to take a look at the film for like about two or three rounds, and we basically already knew the game plan. Oh, nice counter punch from Kush. Nice, Tina nice. really nice. likes to go to the body there with that that uh, rear uppercut, and he may break the limit as well. 
Patel has to watch with the uh, sidestepping as well into yeah. punches. Oh, beautiful work to the body there by Patel. Martinez looking for some counters. Oh, there he goes. He gets one. Patel doing a good job refreshing his block and pumping it. Oh. Yeah, that was a nice, beautiful counter punch. Beautiful work to the body there by Patel. Nice uppercut there by Patel. Beautiful hook to the body. Nice straight to intercept the uh, uppercut to the body there by Martinez. Nice uh, body uppercut there by Martinez, though. Martinez returning back off some shots with his odd offense. Patel trying to bait something. He is stepping back, you know, playing the real footsies game here. And there he goes. He gets the, the, the step back straight. What do you feel like um, Andy Martinez needs to do now? Well, I think Martinez just needs to overall get his, his counting. Uh... He, he just needs to get his counting down, figuring out how many shots he, he needs to land to win around, and he needs to get his timing down, you know. Um, Patel is a little bit tricky with the timing, but he should be able to catch him. Nice counter punch again. That's the end of round three, I believe. So, maintain, maintaining his stamina will. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, nice uppercut there by Patel. Uppercut to the body. Martinez has a very tricky style that could give a lot of people problems. But one thing that I see about it is that it can get repetitive after a while, and he's not pump blocking. So, you know, if, if he goes in there with an opponent that, you know, just does not care, he, he'll, he, you know, uh, he may be able to get some counter success early but you know he he may you know get broken down later on in the fight yeah i feel like Patel's doing very well um in that first fight he was doing very well but then andy doing very well here in the end yeah, yeah patel didn't throw no one really threw no one really took charge of the fight yeah. you know and this one you know, I could see both men actually throwing. They're trying to win the fight. Patel, he could throw a little bit more, but he, you know, like stuff like this. You see, he's working the body now. 
Um, in the first fight, he'd be throwing baby jabs and straights, but now he's. It looks like he's about to get a knockdown. Yeah, he's. Yeah, you see Martinez. The grid is just there. Yeah, he needs to get out of that corner. Just be real, maybe close up. Looking for a lot of lean back counters, you see. Yep. Martinez going to the body here. Letting them body shots fly. Yo, yeah. And that is the end of round three, I believe. Right. Round four? I'm not round sure. It's sitting here playing without the HUD. It's tr throwing me off, bro. We're going into round number five. Round five of schedule ten underway. Yep, schedule ten. We will see if that will go. Uh, the full ten and round four definitely looked like there were some problems. You know, for both men if they keep fighting like this. Yeah. But yeah, overall good, good bout. Michelle been on top of him the whole fight, no, not giving him any air. Mm -hmm. Good body work by Martinez, though. I will give him that. Yeah, he, Martinez is a very good, bo very good body puncher. Oh, Kush, that was just beautiful. That might have been one of the best sequences I've seen in SFC. He threw the jab. Martinez threw the jab three times. The first two times, uh, first time he got through, second time he blocked it, third time he, he switched that head back and got landed a nice counter three. Lead hook. Beautiful counter punch by uh, Kush Patel. And great, uh, great decision making on the fly. There goes another counter. Yeah, Kush Patel, a Great counter puncher. I would like to see more combinations though from Patel. Oh, nice, oh, nice combination there by Patel. And that is the end of round five. Another great round there by Patel. Yep. Yeah, I feel like this fight is just slipping away from Martinez a bit. He needs to really start, this needs to really get going here. Patel did switch stances quite a bit in his uh, in the first fight. Now it seems like you know he's staying in orthodox, relatively smart. You know it is working for him here. Yeah. Seems like just as I said that he switches over to south wall. <laughs> Martinez fighting well off the back foot, throwing punches yeah. to try to keep Patel off. Oh, nice, oh, nice counter there from Martinez. Martinez. Oh, another one. Another. Trying to get to the bottom now. Ooh.
Oh, nice uh, body hook there. I have Patel. It's his very entertaining fight. Beautiful uppercut. Patel has found a home for that left uppercut and straight all fight long. Let's see him have um, brown sticks on both feet. Yeah. And with some great stamina management. He looks fresh. Martinez letting some power shots fly. Yeah. Oh, nice combinations there by Patel. Uh oh. He's putting together some combinations while Martinez is on the ropes. Love Zork in that uppercut. The punches are going through that block of Martinez. Yup, indeed, indeed. Nice, uh, he loves using that rear uppercut. He's putting together some nice combinations now. Oh, nice counter. Going to the body there. It's Kush Patel. Nice. Great round there by Kush Patel once again. And the unofficial judges have it sixty nine, sixty four for Coach Patel. So that's a reasonable scorecard. Yeah. Yeah, I do feel like Kush Patel has kind of just done more and just kind of took taking control of the fight. Good pump block in there by Patel. Nice uppercut gets through for Patel. This could be the beginning of the end. Patel is starting to land the combinations freely. He's letting the combinations fly now. Good one, two. Good one, two again. A hook. Patel's getting in with the uppercuts. The uppercuts and he's stunned. And Martinez goes down. And Martinez goes down. Martinez is getting back up to his feet. He will get up at the count of five. 
Will Martinez survive? Yeah, man. Patel is looking for blood now. I bet that's what uh, Anthony Burns is telling them right now. Ooh. Oh, Martinez is going all for it, man. Martinez is really throwing. He's not trying to get knocked out now. Just because he scored a knockdown, he can't get reckless. He can't get careless. Cause... Oh, he goes oh, down. Oh, he goes down again. Just as he said that. <laughs> you can't go back and knock him down. <laughs> oh. It's not smart to go Martinez, right back in and be knocked down. The hooks, man, the power hooks. And it seems like there was a little interaction there at the end of that round. I would advise Martinez and get away, try to pump that block as much as you can. Pedro was probably going to try to go for the kill if he was in these rounds. Because he has a very, he has a very, very badly. Oh, he goes in. off for the third time. Big uppercut and down goes Martinez for his third time. Will he beat the count? Yes, he will. Hey, my fault, guys. Chat's just spamming it. Group chat. Right. We got a bro. We got an essay. The teacher didn't even say nothing, bro. Shh. bro. Smacking my head, bro. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm ride this out. Yeah, but nothing. But, Patel. Patel landing the uppercuts. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Now. A beautiful check hook, bro. Yes, might be the end of Andy Martinez as he's been down four times. He gets up again. One thing you can't deny is the heart of Andy Martinez. Oh! oh that was beautiful. Push Patel with a knockout of the night candidate. Performance of the night candidate. Yeah, the referee's gonna wave it off. This one has been waved off. It is over. Chris Patel with the knockout win over Andy Martinez. What a win. What a performance. Great performance by Chris Patel. jumps on the ropes to celebrate. It was a very dominant performance. Kush Patel advances to two and O. Oh. Yep. <laughs> to move on to our main event um William Penn versus Roley Davidson in just a second coming up next. Alright 
but before we um, first of all, we're just gonna look at um the stats for this one. Both men coming into the fight one and zero undefeated. We were returning, having the unanimous decision win over Joey Vera, which fought um in the opening bout. Won a unanimous decision over Lucas Nance. Very fan friendly fight. And the betting odds for this one, William Cunning is the underdog. Well, um, Davidson is a minus two forty favorite. Both men are on a one fight winning streak. How do you guys see this bout before we jump into it? Oh, you know, I think that, I mean, like I said, man, Rowley, I mean, the guy just seems to do it all, bro. You know, he could, and I think this fight, bro, I think he, he, he's also, you know, another fighter that works with Detroit um, boxing. And yeah, man, I, I can tell you, bro, he's coming, he's coming with blood on his mind. He got it in a little scuffle at the weigh-in. Yeah. Yeah, bro, he's getting this stuff back in blood, man. I, I can tell you that. Yeah, man, they have a new position they're going to settle at. As this whole day of him. Both men went back and forth at the pre-fight conference. Davidson looking to make cutting quick. And then he went um, to see uh, Bill Souls in Atlanta. Well, we did Sid versus William Cuddy. Well, the Davidson last time out got a majority decision victory over Reed Forbes. Here goes William Cuddy. Many fans have have mentioned this would be a very good stylistic matchup. Very interesting fight. Alright. Here we go. William Cunning in the black and blue trunks, while Lily Davidson is in the gold and white. <laughs> Cunning tries to get to the body on the ropes. Very dangerous spot to be. Mm. Oh, we just trying to come forward. You know, Pee Wee Red Dresser having that, um, cross block. And Lily did predict a sixth round stoppage at the, um, way in yesterday. Here we go. Uh, my bad. Not sure what happened, but like internet went out. Um, but yep, I, I am here, and this is our main event. We got Rolly Davidson 
Acing, uh, William Cutting in our 10 round main event, and what should be a very, very good fight. Davidson obviously had a crap ton of money put on him for this event. Um, so Davidson obviously going to look to go out there and win. Yeah. Like I said, man, Davidson, we've seen people betting everything on uh, Roley Davidson. Yeah, but um, can he have cutting? Can he upset those people? And make wild people lose a lot of money. You will see. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, Marcus Castro put three hundred k on Roly. Um, you know, Jacob Evans, myself, oh. I put two hundred k on Roly. Um, Jaden Ramirez put two hundred and forty k on Roly. Roly has about a, a whole million. Abraham King put a hundred k on uh Roly. That's a lot of money going in the bank for Roly, man. And uh, yeah, these people are very confident that Roly can do this, you know. And Roly staying real, staying real resilient right in front of his face. Roly with some beautiful power shot. Roly's not scared to get into a a a, a fight. Cutting being defensive, looking for them smart shots. Yep. But can is cutting really defensive? We will see, man, because we know Roly hits like a truck, and he's taunting cutting right now, and Roly's not scared. Round three of the scheduled ten round the main event. William Cutting versus Roy Davidson. Ooh, nice work from Roly here. To the back, cutting up. Ooh. He's like, oh, Roly coming back in blood. Uh oh, oh, hold on, Roly came out in the third oh, round, looking for blood. Oh, hold on, Roly wants to go down. Roly looking for blood. Big shots from Roly. Oh, Roly, he, he came out looking for blood, and he took away the whole health bar of cutting. And now, uh, Roly Davidson. Alan Cutting, is that all you got? Cutting is in trouble. Looking for them uppercuts through the cross block. He could have scored a knockdown right there. Nice uppercut from Cutting, though. Roly, Roly didn't really. He didn't seem to get that momentum back. Um, I know let it slip away to be honest. But Roly, man, he's coming back in blood. I'll tell you. That. Yeah. Roly, Roly's looking for blood. Roly's looking for blood. Yeah, they're getting it in the ring. Yep. And of course, the bro. A brawl broke out at the weigh-ins. Yep, yes, and 
in which Rowley did snatch Ooh. William Cutting's chain off of his neck. Which, yeah, that was kind of crazy. Um, but, yeah. You know, this still still is a competitive fight, but Rowley is showing some signs of running away with the fight. And the unofficial card has Roy Davidson winning all three rounds, maybe 27. <laughs> Roy really throwing some big shots here. Yep. Cutting with a switch dance again. Yeah, it's one of the things about Roley, man. This guy can fight off the front foot. He can fight off the back foot. He can, he can, so he can fight in southpaw. He can fight in orthodox. Oh, Roley and Southpaw now. Put together some combos. Beautiful defense there by Roley. What was that? My fault. What was that? My fault. <laughs> We're gonna kind of need to watch out of the stamina as well. Rollie's trading with him, man. Cutting stamina went down a significant amount from round three to four. Yeah, with only the four percent recovery, you really need to watch the stamina cutting down. Oh yeah, cutting has been forced into a fight, and I don't think he could sustain it, man. Roley's a freak of nature. Indeed. He cannot seem to figure Roley out as much. Yep. Oh, beautiful power straight there by Roley. <laughs> oh, oh Roley. Going Roley. Down. Oh, Roley, what are you doing? William Cutting goes down. Whoa. This great. What a knockdown. And Roly trying to... Oh, Roly looking to finish it. Roly smells blood. Roly looks like he's going to earn... And Roly might have earned a few people millions. All in all. Roly getting hit there. And everything they got now. Oh, one, beautiful one, two by Roley. Cut himself. And he's hurt again. Cutting his hurt. Roll, he's and he clinched it. Smart move. He just needs to survive. He, cutting, cutting, he knows he's lost the round. 
Oh. He's about to go down again. He goes down. And a back and cutting his hurt, cutting his cut right to the ear. Can he get up? Can he will get up? The question is, can Cutting recover from these knockdowns? And his health bar is looking real low right now. This could be over soon. Oh! Oh! Holy! Oh, yeah. Straight! Oh, and another knockdown! Again. Yeah, Rory definitely saw his blood. He pulled for the finish as he knocked down William Cunning several times. That was 10 6 oh. run, I believe. You're really taunting at Cuddy. Yeah, man, Roly has earned it. That's a 10 6 round, bro. Oh, Roly coming out. He's looking for the finish. Roly hooks and uppercuts. Two. Will Roly get the round six finish like he, just like he predicted? Mm -hmm. Roly said round six. Yeah, he predicted a six round finish. The way is, can't, it, oh, I can't speak. Oh, I can't speak. Can his oh, come through? Roly. As he goes for Uppercuts. Oh. He could get it here. Oh. oh, he's throwing out all the combinations, bro. Really doing everything in his power to get cutting out of it. Yep. Cutting fighting Ooh. back, but he needs to move away, and he got caught with something big oh. there. Only could have finished him. Oh, another oh, hook! And oh, cutting goes down for fourth time. The fourth time. Yeah, I think this is about over for William Cutting. I'm cutting. To be honest, I would just call it a day. Just throw and that should be the end. Cutting, fighting to get up. Oh, once, once Roly smelled blood, he really took it. You know. Yeah. I to be to be honest, I did have William Cutting winning the first two rounds, but then yeah, Roly just took over. And Roly gets the. Sixth round finish oh, for William cutting, Cuddy. Cutting did not look good. Roly eggs cutting at the press conference. What are you going to do when you you get put on the canvas? And he replied with something smart. And uh, Roly made him rethink that. Outstanding performance from Roly Davidson. As he gets yeah. the sixth round finish. Just as he predicted. Yeah, the official judges had it had it fifty to forty two. Great performance by Roley Davidson and uh Flores, you can do the outro. All right. Well <laughs> oh. Well this has been Flores and Stan Promotions Fight Night Double Header. Um thank you guys for tuning in. But I do have to announce something really quick. Um I will have to be, I will have, oh, this is hard to say, but I will have to shut down Lauren's den due to some personal things. Um, I just want to say, like, thank you for all my fighters on the ride. I came on the ride. Um, you know, y'all really, uh, 
I really and truly do in this, honestly. Um, but it's sad that it has to come to an end. So, um, thank you to all my potters for sticking in with me and um, providing my colors with some real honor. And yeah, just before I um, shut down lines and want to say one thing. Um, did you guys know it was April Fool's Day? Stevie just got pranked. I thought I thought of this prank. Um, I thought of this prank. Uh, just this morning. I I don't think it got to the stream. But um, yeah. I'm not turning down lines then. It was an April Fool's joke. Yanni. Anyways. That was terrible. <laughs> but, yeah, this has been Ryan from Promotions Double Header. And thank you guys for tuning in. It has been a great car. Really, you know, me scratching my head trying to find performance and knock out of the night because both Rolly Davidson and Chris Patel just have been astonishing performances. Anyway, it's been Josh Flores, Jacob Evans, and Jay Ramirez hosting. And we'll see you guys next time. Adios, amigos. Stay tuned.